Hello everyone, I'm Little Miss Inventor and I'll be your guide for this virtual tour. Isn't this pretty cool? We're in a 360 degree world, which means you can control what you see as I show you around. <laughs> if you're wearing a VR headset, take a second to look around and familiarise yourself with our new environment. If you're here on a computer, simply click your mouse and drag your view for different angles. And if you're watching this on a mobile device, you can hold your phone in front of you and spin around to control your view. Just make sure not to spin around too much. We don't want you ending up like Little Miss Whoops. <laughs> If something catches your interest on the tour and you lose sight of me, don't worry. Arrows will pop up to show you where I am. Are you ready? Let's take a peek inside the fascinating world of the Royal Mint. <laughs> Today, I'm going to tell you how the Royal Mint makes those shiny coins that jingle in your pockets and purses. The story begins all the way back as far as Alfred the Great, more than 1,100 years ago. Yes, that's how old the Royal Mint is! The Royal Mint is one of the largest mints in the world. Not to mention one of the most imaginative. It makes coins for more than 30 countries each year, including Tonga, New Zealand and Costa Rica. Not all their coins are made for pockets, though. Some coins celebrate famous people and favourite characters, such as Her Majesty the Queen and even Elton John. <laughs> Our first stop on the tour is to discover how our coins begin their journey. It takes lots of skill and creativity to make a coin, especially to the Royal Mint's high standards. So, let's find out how they're transformed from metal blanks to the coins you can find in high street banks. Different coins have different compositions. The process starts with raw materials that are melted together in a very hot oven. A bit like making a cake. The metal is then cooled and turned into a continuous strip that is rolled until it's the right thickness for a particular coin. The next part of the process is to make the blanks from the strip. A blank is a disc of metal with no design on the front or back. And the machine that produces them can make an incredible 10,000 blanks every minute. Not even Mr Rush can move that quickly. <laughs> you may have noticed that some coins have the words around the edge. This helps to protect the coins against being copied. Have you seen any? One of the most interesting inscriptions appears on a £2 coin, which reads, Standing on the shoulders of giants. A quote that was made famous by the scientist Sir Isaac Newton. Interestingly, this great scientist was in charge of the Royal Mint for a time during the 18th century. His work has always inspired me. You could also say he's one of the reasons I'm so inventive. <laughs> now the coins are ready for their designs, which are made through a set of dies. Mr Topsy Turvy likes these dies. They're all produced backwards, so the design on the coin appears the right way round. They start with a billet like this. And then a computer-controlled engraving machine cuts the design into a soft piece of steel at coin size. It's very clever work. You can also see some examples of collars here. 
These are used to hold a blank in place and are also used to put a milled or serrated edge on some of the coins. Once the blanks are prepared, they're put through the striking process, which turns a blank into a coin. Let's see how this is done. You are now looking into the coin press room where every circulating UK coin is made as well as the coins made for other countries. I'd keep Mr Bump out of this room if I were you. <laughs> the blanks are tipped into the large grey funnels or hoppers as they're called which sit on top of the coin presses that you can see here. Around 800 kilos of blanks are poured into the hoppers and the machine will then strike the designs at a rate of up to 800 coins per minute. That's about 14 per second. The finished coins are collected in the small black boxes in front of each press. These are known as totes. Once the newly minted coins have collected in the totes, they're inspected to make sure they're of a high quality before being released into the large crate sitting under each tote. Can you see the machine to your right? It's a bit different to the others because it has two hoppers. This is used to produce bimetallic coins such as the UK £1 and £2 coins alongside coins for other countries around the world. The word bimetallic is used to describe a coin that is made of two different metals. Fascinating! The finished coins then need to be packaged using the telling machines. Quite a brilliant invention, if I say so myself on the left-hand side of the room. These machines are used to weigh, count, check and verify the coins, which are then packaged in various formats depending on how a particular country would like them delivered. At this point, UK coins are sent to cash centres around the country ready for distribution. It's all done rather cleverly. <laughs> If you ever get the chance to visit the Royal Mint experience, this is where you can strike your very own coin. After learning about the imagination and invention that goes into creating one, your tour guide on the day will place the blank into the coin press ready for striking. Then you push this button and in a matter of seconds, and as if by magic, the blank is struck three times. Ta-da! You've struck your very own coin, which is ready to be packed and taken home as a special memento of your visit. Shinier and more sparkly than Little Miss Sparkle. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I certainly have. You might have guessed, I love all things to do with inventing and clever creating. It's been wonderful to show you the process that a coin goes through before it lands in your pocket. My friends are calling me now, so it's time I joined them back in Happy Land. I hope you're able to visit the Royal Mint experience soon so you can see all the marvellous machinery and creative coin making in person. You'll find more details at royalmint.com slash experience. Stay creative and take care!